So that burning smell was for a reason. We really need to get this sorted because we can't be doing things setting a light in the van whilst we're sleeping or whilst we're driving or anything like that. Having a fire inside your van is actually, I found really, really scary. Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, a married couple who have just completed one and a half years full-time living in a van in the UK. Last week, we dealt with a serious leak in our roof and started to prepare our camper for winter van life, addressing condensation issues. This week, we are going to light our log burner for the very first time and unfortunately, and coincidentally, have to deal with an electrical fire also. Things are definitely heating up as we continue autumn van life in the UK. We'd like to give a huge shout out to Motorway for sponsoring this video. How did you sleep last night? Horrendous. <laughs> okay, yeah, so last night, wow, we rolled up to Phil Beacon, which is where we parked last night, and uh, it's a great park up. Uh, we're back down south, by the way. We've come down south near, near to the Brighton area because um, we've had to pick up a parcel. It's quite inconvenient, but we had to do it. There's no way around it. Anyway, we like it down here. We spent five years of our lives down here and uh, this is one of our favourite park-ups. Apart from last night when we rolled up in the pitch black in the middle of the night, it was windy, but it wasn't like really bad. As we parked up, got into bed, it got really bad, like ferocious winds that were just, the thing about them is it wasn't just like a gust and then a break, because I probably could have fallen asleep between the gust and the break. It was gust, it was a constant gust for hours. Probably got like three hours sleep last night, two hours sleep maybe. So excuse the bags around the eyes, but you know, we, we press on. Anyway, we've had an issue in the van. <laughs> oh, more issues. Not water issues this time though. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, the, 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 actually, we're sealed. The, we've, we've had rain, it's fine. We've not got any leaks, so it's all good. It, we've had a fire in the van, um, or electrical fire, small electrical fire but it's, it's, um, I've got to work out what it is today. Um, it, it, it's concerning, it's around the bobble heater, bobble boiler scenario. No, I don't think it's to do with bobble boiler, it's probably just a bad connection, but there's been um, some sort of electrical, tiny little fire in there. Um, so that, that burning that I could smell was for a reason. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Got to address it really, really quickly, as you can imagine. Got to find out what the problem is and sort it out. I'm not very good with electrics, but I'm going to give it a go today. If it's beyond my capabilities, I will pass it on to an electrician. Hopefully it's something dead simple. Praying it's a simple fix, we went for a walk to enjoy the moment of calm that the weather treated us to after such a ropey night. We headed back to the van where we met two lovely subscribers who bought a motorhome off YouTubers John and Mandy. We checked out the motorhome and it's so beautiful with lots of gadgets and warming comforts. We wish them all the best on their van life journey. As you guys know, we're having quite a few problems with the van at the moment. Um, but we're in no position where we want to sell Morgan. We have actually sold a van before, an old Vauxhall Vivaro that we use for gardening on a platform called Motorway, who are the sponsors of this video. Motorway.co.uk or the app is like a used car marketplace. And basically what you do is you put your registration in there, you get an online valuation, and then enter your details, uh, your bit details about the van, uh, your profile and then you put it into the marketplace then dealers bid against each other to get you the best price possible this is how we sold our van on marketplace to great success very very quickly and before we knew it we had the money in our bank accounts all we did to kick the process off was use the online valuation on motorway.co.uk or the app and then put your reg plate number in to receive an instant valuation on our vehicle Next, we just completed a profile, any additional information needed about the vehicle and photos. Then the next stage after that was we agreed on a reserve price of the vehicle and then the car or van goes into a daily sale. Following the daily sale, you receive the highest offer that day and then all you gotta do is accept the offer as we did. Happy days. 
So we're really pleased with Motorway. We got a good price for our vehicle in no time at all. It was hassle-free and very convenient. If you want to check out Motorway for yourself, if you're selling a car or a van, head to the link in our description and try it now. Cool, so the weather seems to be turning a little bit and we've got loads of jobs to do. So we're gonna pop off and do them ASAP, get them done really quickly. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go to Screwfix. Next up, B&Q. Now we're off to Sainsbury's to get some supplies. Okay, so me and Liam have decided to have a roast tonight, um, or today. It's Sunday, so we're gonna go for our first ever Sunday roast in the van and also I'm cooking as well so I'm going to do a banging roast for me and Liam. We're going to park up somewhere nice and eat some really warm comfort food. Tides are looking a little soft. Now it's time to find a park up for the rest of the day so we can get some bloody DIY done in the van. Some urgent, urgent things. I'm going to show everybody the electrical fire that we've had. We made our way to a place called Seaford where we plan to wild camp for the evening. Cool, so we're in Seaford. It's one of our favourite park ups. If you follow this channel, you know that it is one of our favourite park ups. It's just brilliant. We're going to spend the rest of the day here probably right on the beach. There's loads of people walking along the promenade. It's just so lovely. However, I've got to be um, sorting out this. What We've got a major, major uh, situation um, in the van, and that is we've had a little mini, mini electrical fire. And um, this is something I'm going to walk through with you guys as well. So, so because I'm no electrician, um, but we need to get it sorted. It's like number, number, numero uno on the, on the priority list. So basically, it's the wires that are going into our boiler system, our bubble boiler system. Now, we're not saying that it's a bubble boiler system issue. It's just the wires going into it. The bubble boiler system, just as a quick rundown, is basically when our batteries are on over 100%, the solar energy uh, or any ex excess energy power goes into heating an element in the boiler system and then heats up whatever water's in that tank. So we, you just keep it on all the time and it should just stay heated. We're in the autumn months now, it's not quite the same. So there's also a diesel heater element to it for the winter months. So basically you just invert the diesel heater air and it heats up the boiler system. It takes about, it takes quite a while to do that to be fair. So it's better using the elements. Anyway, when we was in Munich, which is still early autumn, um, we turned it on and it was making a horrible grunting noise, grunting, grinding, uh, sort of noise. So uh, that was a bit alarming. So we just kept it off until we came back to the UK. When we got back to the UK, we went to go to Liverpool to see Urban Van Life. We worked out the noises coming from the relay. We swapped the relay over. This is the old relay. We can't see anything wrong with it, but this was making a hell of a racket anyway. So we swapped it over and the racket stopped, but it was making a burn. It did have a burning smell um, with it as well. It's something else that we noticed. Uh, we didn't understand why that burning smell was there. We just assumed it was the relay. Um, and then I went for closer inspection recently with a little torch and found something. The burning smell that we had underneath here was for very good reason because there was a mini little melty electrical fire going on, which is a bit alarming in a van. So first thing I found was this wire here, which is charred on the end. The second one that I found was over here and it's quite far back over there and it's completely melted the end and it's got charred all over it and where it was leaning up against is all charred as well. So that burning smell was for a reason. Um, there was a little, there was something not right there. So I am going to have to do my best with this. I'm gonna turn off all the power. Firstly, check to see if a fuse has blown which I'd hope there would be if, if there was something horrible going on inside here. Uh, turn off all the power and then re do a better connection on it and hopefully, fingers crossed, it might all work. But yeah, it seems to have melted all of the tape. So um, yeah, not good, but we really need to get this sorted because we can't be doing things setting a light in the van whilst we're sleeping or whilst we're driving or anything like that. So I'm gonna get it done now. We assumed that there was a mini fire or spark or something melted. However, we are no experts. We do know that we need to get it sorted as soon as possible. Liam got to work cleaning the wires up and reconnecting them, but came across a problem. I can see potentially what the problem is. I'm not, uh, I don't know much about electronics at all, but 
the two wires that they've that's been connected together one of them's a fatter one than this one and what's happened is in the middle where they've been joined together with just it looks like just like some sort of tape um that that with electronic tape that it's created a, a fire it's created it's melted the tape and i don't know what the crack is, is if you've got a thicker wire to a thinner wire and they're joined together if that's a problem but potentially I don't know, but that could be a problem. Either way, it's actually proving difficult to, um, this one fits one of the wires, but it doesn't fit the thicker wire, which is really odd. Um, so, might not be able to do it until I get some more of these. Bigger ones, bigger ones. So unfortunately, that's a job not ticked off the list. Um, I can get the wire, uh, one of the wires into one of these little chocolate box things, but I can't get the other one because it's too fat. Uh, they're two different si two different thicknesses. I'm not sure whether that's that's an issue or not. It might not be. Um, I don't know if that's what, what caused the little tiny little fire or for things to melt. Um, but uh, I'm gonna have to wait and get some more of these bigger ones of these before we can have a hot shower. Or we'll have, probably be able to have a diesel heater. I need one, so I'm gonna have a diesel heater to shower anyway. But yeah, what a shame. And, oh well, there's always tomorrow. Okay, cool. So now, next up on our list of things to do in the van, um, we have actually got something really cool. It's something I've been waiting to put up since we got the van. We've had it for this long, but we've just been so busy and I don't know, this whole year's just been crazy. It's been put to the back of our cupboards and we haven't, literally haven't touched it, but we thought this weekend we're going to put it up and it's a really, really exciting um, gadget to put in the van and what it is it's called <laughs> a nebula cosmos stand which sounds really boring but it's actually um, a bracket that you put your projector onto so we have actually got a projector and a screen so we can have cinema nights in the van and I'm so excited I can't I honestly can't tell you so we're gonna put this up now um, we know where we're gonna put it we think so we're gonna try it in that spot um, and see how it goes. Okay, so the projector we got is called the Nebula, hence why we got the Nebula Cosmos stand. Um, and this is actually a really good projector because it's really tiny. They're, a lot of them are quite big and this one is like the size of a can of Coke really. So it's a really small one. Um, Liam's just demonstrating how it's going up now. It's exciting, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Hangs there, that's good. Yeah. So does it hang upside down okay? It just stays there, just stays there. Well, that's my technical advice for Liam for the day. I left him to attach the stand to the ceiling before getting a knock on the door by two lovely generous people. I don't know if you've got a freezer, but I've got you a couple of vegan ice oh, creams. Oh, oh thank you so much. Right now, yeah. okay. Hi, I'm Noel. I'm Russell. We're just parked down here in our little uh, T4. <laughs> And they've just brought us ice creams. We met these guys earlier at B and Q, and uh, we got chatting. And now we've just seen them. They've brought us vegan ice cream. They could not come at a better time. Thank you so much. It's soft toffee and caramel sauce. I've not had this one before. Oh, these look good. Sweet. We like Swedish glaze, don't we? Yeah. Nice. Like a good one. Mmm. That's really good. Right, it's absolutely chucking it down outside. So the whole plan was, really, was to come here and get a load of DIY jobs done in a nice surroundings. It's always nice to have sea views. Um, because tomorrow, we are super excited to say, for the very, very first time in this van, we, Janine and I, are going to be lighting our log burner. That log burner that you've seen in the background of all of our videos is going to be lit for the very first time by us alone. Um, so we're a bit nervous about it. We're very excited. Janine's going to make a banging roast, apparently. She reckons she can make better roasts than me. And she reckons she taught me how to make roasts, but I can't remember that. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. Uh, we'll soon find out about that. So finish off some of these jobs and then have a banging roast. Get up tomorrow. Go and find a really nice park up and get that log burner going. Let's see what happens. Don't know if I was aware a piece was missing. In this puzzle I used to call my life. Oh no. Didn't even. And for the main centerpiece on this roast, we've got this tiny little thing which doesn't actually look that great, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. Um, it's Plant Pioneers from Sainsbury's. It, it actually looks like a sausage roll. 
So, I mean, I don't know, but it's It fine. looks like the saddest little thing in it <laughs> ever. <laughs> it does, but we're going to try. It might be amazing. It might be incredible. It just looks tiny. So, it ain't over. not least I have got the most important part of the roast dinner and that is the mint sauce I don't really care what centerpiece it is it has to have mint sauce on it so today I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be whether it's supposed to be chicken or something but it's gonna get a massive dollop of this on it because it's the best home cinema how cool is this how cozy it's like we've got a little cozy living room now so I'm just stood up I'm touching the ceiling here but just behind me here and all of this is like our little cozy bedroom ah, sitting back on the sofa honestly Janine that roast looks absolutely banging it is it does look banging and it is banging but we've got one more task to do and that's the gravy and I hope that I have done you being a northerner uh, proud with this thick gravy that I've done. All right, well, let's see how thick, thick it is because I know what you southerners are like. <laughs> it, it, it can't be trusted. Oh, 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 there's potential in there. Do you reckon? There's potential in there. Is that thick enough? For... Go on then, pour some and show me. Okay. Now, can I tell you something? Yeah. I'm all right with that. There'll be many people shouting at the screen saying how it's not thick enough. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, God, yeah, that's yeah. really thick. I'd have mushy peas on my on my roast dinner <laughs> as well as gravy. And I know you'd have baked beans and vin gravy, wouldn't you? <laughs> we all know that now. Not, not baked beans on a roast, no. <laughs> baked beans and gravy though, yeah, for sure. <laughs> baked beans and gravy. Oh, it was time to eat our very first roast dinner in the van. For those that follow our channel, you will know the disaster we had on Christmas Day last year trying to make a Christmas roast and ended up eating cold Brussels sprout sandwiches on the edge of a cliff in the Peak District. For us, this is a momentous occasion and it was a good one. We sat and watched a film about the Cray Brothers on our new cinema setup and had a really lovely chilled evening on the beach in Seaford. <laughs> today we are leaving this park up we need to leave because we can't overstay our welcome here so we are moving on we're going to find our next park up um, this one's gonna be a really exciting one because today is the day the day that me and Liam have been waiting for for ages um, I'm so excited we are gonna go and light our log burner for the first time um, we're gonna do that a little bit later we're gonna find our park up um, a suitable park up for such an occasion. Feeling excited about lighting the log burner for the first time we headed off. We went to do some chores before going to a park up called Bo Peep in the early afternoon which is a beautiful very quiet car park near Lewis surrounded by the most stunning views of countryside and rolling hills for miles. We once again got our tools out and did some more much needed DIY to the van. Okay, so we've just done the DIY or as much as we possibly could before the sun went down and now it's time to have something to eat. We're making a salad tonight, which looks like it's gonna be a banger and we're gonna just about to light the log burner for the very, very first time. It's getting chilly outside, so it's actually quite needed right now. Okay, here we go. This wood's good, this wood's really dry. Yeah. It's because the wood's so so freaking dry that we can just go straight in with it. It seems to be going so well so far. Thank this you. has been a success. And by the way, so far, so good. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, 
Okay, cool. So we've got the fire going and it literally took about a minute. Me and Liam have been putting this job off because we've, th we've been thinking, oh God, it's actually really scary. Having a fire inside your van is actually, I found really, really scary and I didn't kind of want to do it. Um, it just got off to a shaky start, didn't it? Yeah. You know, we got we got sort of, you know, we, we, it wasn't the best start for this um, this uh, stove. It was deemed unsafe, but it's actually fine. It's cool. Yeah, it's it, working and there's no smoke coming in. Um, we've got the windows open. We're going to open the door and yeah, and it's actually really cool. I'm so happy. I'm so excited about it. This is our winter sort of sorted now it's doing it it does the job it, it it has taken the the chill out of the air hasn't it yeah and it's so cozy and it's just cozy Love it. yeah. <laughs> hearing the crackling of it i know the little pops here and there tonight we decided to have an easy meal night so prepared a greek style salad with all of our favorite ingredients we sat in the warmth of our tiny home on wheels feeling cozy and peaceful on a pretty hill in the middle of nowhere and spoke about the difference a log burner will make to van life this winter it's definitely the simple things in life that get us the most excited thank you for subscribing if you have enjoyed the video and see you next time for more autumn van life adventures in the uk We wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good Don't forget to check out Motorway, we'll put the link in the description